France. Freaking France. The Bible said Adam and Eve, not Shaq and Shira. All these names are just English names with a weird accent. What's a proper French name? It says Adam and Eve, not Cassette and Sharpier. As I told you before, I don't speak any French and I cannot possibly allow myself to learn any. French always sounds improper. If you speak French, people necessarily assume you said something dirty. The response to this is people looking shocked, which is vulgar, and ugly. Or they laugh, which is even worse. No. French is a language I shall learn. Mama argues we live here now to enjoy the rich culture. Sometimes I wonder if she indeed means the wine and cheese. Those are at least acceptable. You know, Mama has a strange relationship with women and education. But she does believe culture is something every young unmarried girl should be conversant in. Any wife should have a good knowledge of culture. And as we are all painfully aware, I am such a young unmarried girl. If you ask Mama, a girl only would need to know about certain types of music, arts, and a bit of dancing. So I did what comes naturally and studied management instead. I bet that shot her. I hope it did. Management definitely showed her. <laughs> Maybe that's why we moved. What I really seriously dislike about France though are macaroons. First of all, no one can pronounce it. It's macaroon. It's not macaroni, you freaking working class idiot. You know what macaronis are. You've had your mac and cheese and do these colorful little baked goods that are called macaroons really look like pasta to you? No, they don't. Yes, this... <laughs> this actually makes me angry. You know what makes me even more angry? What they really are. Look at how delicious they seem. Beautiful little macaroons in different colors, strawberry, raspberry, vanilla, creme brulee. You can get anything, you can basically get as ice cream. It looks even prettier. Plus, they're hyped to be super exclusive. You get them in cute little boxes with pretty paper, and you pay a lot of money for them. Honest, if you see them, want them. Want to eat them. All of them. All the flavors, all the colors. And do they taste nice? No. No, they freaking don't. They pretend to be an amazing culinary delight, but they're not. What a macaroon offers is boredom. I'm not impressed, Franz. Like Belsas and Beauty and the Beast, there must be more than this provincial life. Well, Paris isn't exactly the province, but you know. <coughs> Franz! Better not die in Paris. I still have an intense fight with the wallpaper down in the living room. And I don't intend to go before it does. This was a Darjeeling Elephant production.